Hey everyone, I'm gonna do a nighttime Christmas tree. I have some phthalo blue, burnt sienna. I'm using my heavy body acrylics because I'm running low on some of my fluid acrylics and I just haven't taken the time to go buy more. Plus I wanna just use up some paint that I've had laying around. So I'm sticking with these for a little bit until I run out. And then I'll probably go buy some more fluid acrylics. So I have phthalo blue. I have some burnt sienna just to darken it a little bit. If you'd rather do a daytime scene, um, just lighten, you can lighten the paint with a little bit more white. Just putting the burnt sienna in to take that like raging blue glow out a little bit. I also have some medium. I'm gonna try this in addition to my water. That's a satin medium, it's a Liquitex. I don't really notice the difference between when I'm using medium or water, just anything to kind of loosen the paint up. I'm gonna to try to do a bit of a gradient with the night sky so it's a little darker at the top and then a little bit lighter as it moves down toward the two trees. I have water right here, so I'm gonna just keep wetting my brush a lot. I like to paint the sides as I go along so that I don't have to do it at the end because I usually forget at the end. I think my sky might need a couple of coats. This, these paints feel so thick to me because I'm so used to the fluid acrylics. I'm gonna go over that twice because that's looking kind of weird. I think I did too much white in the middle, but I'm gonna cover that up with the second pass of paint. Maybe I just did too much brown up there. That's probably it. All right, I don't want all these little spots showing through on the canvas, so I think I'm gonna put two layers of paint down in the background. I'm gonna give this a couple of minutes to dry up a little before I put my second layer down. I just want it to be pretty smooth at this point. Try a little less 
I'll put the burnt umber in the second pass here. Normally I just do one coat on the underpainting, but because some of this is gonna show through, like I'm gonna have the two trees, but this is really gonna be the sky. I wanna make sure I get it right. So this area that's a little more white, hopefully that'll read as clouds behind the trees. And then the very bottom is gonna have some snow. And I'll add the snow in when I'm painting the trees, but I also just wanna get a little bit of a gradient. So I think this is good. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna to start to build up my layers for the trees. Okay, so I'm gonna paint two Christmas trees. I'm gonna do one a little bit bigger and one a little bit smaller. Um, they'll kind of touch each other, but I don't want them to be smooshed together. So I'm gonna first mix a dark color with something close to black. So I have some ultramarine blue. If you have black on your palette, you could just go ahead and use the black. This is just to get the darkest shadows. I'm gonna mix my ultramarine blue in with my burnt sienna, putting in some medium just to loosen it up. Honestly, I think water works better than medium. That's well, pretty dark. I'm gonna to try to just get the basic shape. I'm using a flat brush. This one is a size four. And then this one will be a little shorter and it won't come down quite as far. And so if I make this one smaller, It'll look like maybe it's sitting slightly behind the bigger one here. And then to start, I just put in some dark, kind of in the shape of a tree. This is really just to create the shadows and we'll layer some medium and lighter values on top of this. Put down a little bit lower. So just kind of get the basic shape in. You don't have to fill the whole thing in. And then I'm gonna start with some dark green. I'm gonna start with some greens and blues. That's my Hansa yellow medium. I think I'll go back to my phthalo so I can get a brighter green. And I'm just gonna Give this brush a little bit of a rinse. There's still some black, but that's okay. 
Put in a little bit of phthalo. I don't want too much paint on my brush because I want to be able to use the tip. I'm going to start to put in some darker green. It's a similar value to the background, so it's not showing up that much, but that's okay. It'll be just sort of subtle in the background. And I didn't let my black dry. Um, I'm fine with these colors just mixing because this is still really the under layer. You really don't even need to be that careful with your brush strokes at this point. I try to just put them in fast with the tip of my brush. Um, that helps me to be more random. I don't want every brush stroke to look exactly the same. You want variety. It's gonna make your painting look better when you have more variety. So vary the brush strokes. If you go fast, that usually will help. I'm gonna put in, wipe my brush on my paper towel. And I'm going to put in a little bit of white. Try to mix another lighter value. Just wiping the excess paint off. I'm going to wet my brush so it flows a little bit better. If your paint isn't flowing, just add a little bit of water or medium. So I'm putting in some brush strokes that are more up and down rather than side to side. Sorry, it's a cloudy day and the sun keeps going in and out. Hopefully you can still see. Having the variety in your brush strokes is going to just lead to a more pleasing composition. Don't worry if you do too much. You can go over it with dark paint. If your trees are already way too big, you can go back in with your um, background color and just do some touch-ups on the side and kind of push your trees um, back in. Same thing if you did too many light green ones or any other color, you can just go over them with darker paint. I kind of like to have something a little bit lighter at the bottom of the tree. It kind of will give it um, a little bit of a glow. almost like mimicking some lights. And I'm gonna rinse my brush here. I'm gonna take some of this phthalo and some white, some medium. in some light blue.
Just kind of now looking for spots where I need to kind of fill some things in. And while I'm using the light blue, I'm gonna put a little bit of snow down. Snow usually is not pure white. There's usually some like bluish or purplish shadows. So having, doing a little bit of light blue. And then if you wanna do some pure white on top of it, just for a little bit of an accent. And I like to do my snow kind of at an angle. And then I'll mix in a little bit of the darker as well. I'm gonna pick up some of this much darker blue and create some of those shadows around the white. And I just kind of go back and forth with it a couple of times. I'm gonna leave that for now, but I'll probably add a little bit more white once that dries. I'm gonna let everything dry up right now and I'm gonna to switch to my reds and yellows and I don't want those to mix with the darker colors, so I want my painting to be pretty dry. All right, so I'm gonna do my warm colors and I'll probably go back and forth a couple of times like I usually do. Um, just, I, I like a lot going on in my paintings as you probably know. <laughs> so I'm just gonna grab some reds. For this, grab whatever colors you have. If you have some weird colors, like I have this light orange, I have no idea why I bought it. Just grab whatever you have that's warm. I'm gonna do a little more yellow. I also have some quinacridone magenta. You can mix some purple. I'm gonna get some clean white since that has a ton of blue in it. I'm using a number two brush now. Just because I want to make some smaller marks. And I'm going to start with my quinacridone magenta. Mixed with a little bit of white. I like to do Sometimes dots and sometimes little lines, and I like to do them in little groups of either two or three. And remember to vary your brush strokes, have them go in different directions. I'm gonna grab some yellow. I'm gonna wet my brush. I 
I'm going to spray my palette with water. My paint is kind of old, so it's pretty dry. Let me kind of a little orange since I had the magenta on my brush. Don't be afraid to go to the, the edges of the tree. I would just be careful about putting the trees too close together. I tend to do this a lot. I put so many branches in the middle that you end up not being able to tell where one ends and one begins. And I don't like the way that looks. And I've done it a bunch of times. So now I try to be aware of it. a little bit of glow at the bottom. And I'm gonna wash that brush. Try to do a little more pure yellow. A lot of white. You can also go over the little ones, the little marks that you made already. So if you did too many orange, you can change some of them to yellow or even just layering them, like layering the yellow on top of the orange might give it a little bit more of a glow. So don't be afraid to layer. This is my quinacridone red. You could stop here. I'm not going to, because I just like a lot more going on. So I'm gonna, I just rinsed my brush. I'm gonna go back into my cooler colors. And I think I'm going to go back to some green. I think I want more dark. I'm gonna mix some quinacridone red, some yellow. I'm trying to mix a black.
So mixing all three primary colors should get you close to a black. I'm kind of mixing some phthalo blue, quinacridone, magenta, pansy yellow. And that's, that's working now with the blue added in. It's nice and dark. And anywhere that I want more shadows, so definitely closer to the middle, but a little bit on the outsides as well. And to me, it's okay if I go over some of the bright colors. I just like everything when it's really overlapped. If you do these for Christmas cards, um, just get a thick paper and use a little bit less water because the water will warp the paper. A thicker paper should hold the water better. All right, that's enough black now. Same brush, I just rinsed it. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lighten things up because everything looks really dark to me, a little bit too dark. I'm gonna do some light blue. And then I think I'll do some white maybe a couple of touch-ups on the pink to brighten them up a little bit. I'm gonna touch up the snow. I'm putting on the white kind of thick in the snow. I'm just gonna rinse my brush a little and I wanna just brighten things up. So I'm gonna use more white. Make some lighter pinks and some lighter colors and kind of just layer over some of the darker pinks. And then if I need any more marks, Oh, I never used my light orange. It almost looks white. All right, I think it looks good. I feel like I'm gonna overdo it if I keep going. I think I'm gonna add in a little bit more light green. I'm 
I think a yellowy green will brighten this up. All right, I definitely feel like I'm starting to overdo it. So I'm gonna stop. Let me know if you have any questions. Add your painting to the Facebook group if you'd like. I'd love to see it. Or tag me on Instagram. Use the hashtag paint with L. I'd love to share all the Christmas trees. All right, I'm overdoing it <laughs> as usual. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.